Hey everybody, welcome back to The Average. We're gonna start a new sketchbook today. Yay! I have lots of great stickers, some from Joy-san, some from Dina Norland, and some from my friend Sarah, who sent me some wonderful cat portrait pictures, which are obviously going on the new sketchbook, because we're starting this one outright, my friends. Yes, we are indeed. Okay, so let's be real, you've seen the title, and that's fine, um, we're here, but we're gonna pretend like I, I am experiencing this moment again, and I'm full of optimism, I'm looking at this blank page, I'm happy with it, I'm gonna do some good work, I'm sharpening my old uh, Faber-Castell pencils, I'm ready, and yes, we begin, and straight away I'm like, hmm, some interesting sketches you've done there, stuff, it's some, some strange work. Well, we'll move ahead, we'll push on through, we'll use some Poscas, some mixed media, and maybe we'll get over this, uh, this feeling a little bit. And yeah, we kind of did, I kind of liked that, but then I messed up, I messed up horribly, and you can see why. Um, so like any good artist, I just ignored the massive mistake on the left and continued with the drawing that I kind of liked on the right because, you know, that's how we get through things. We ball them up and we ignore them. Um, right? Obviously at this point I was like, I'm using some gold paint because why not? It's a new sketchbook. We're fresh here. We're fresh to death. We're using gold paint. And um, I just used a bit and I don't know why. So yeah, I kind of, I do like this drawing of this woman on the right. I like her look, I like what it did. And yeah, that's the only redeeming quality of this page, I think. And you're probably thinking, now nah, Steph, you're being too hard on yourself. But you guys, wait, the video's not over yet. Here I try to redeem whatever this monstrosity is, and I think I'm only making it worse as I go. But you know, we're gonna push through this, we're gonna push through the pain because sometimes paintings, they work out eventually if you just keep working on them, right? Wrong. Dead wrong. I mean, there are some redeeming qualities to this um, woman. I like the blue dress. It's very opaque. <laughs> That's about as far as I'm willing to go with that statement. I think what I try to do here is just try to use as much media as possible in the hopes that it would send me redemption and just make me have fun and enjoy the process. I mean, I was having fun, so there is that, but that is a big detail I think some people miss out. If your art's crap, but you had fun, who's the real winner? It's, it's not me, is it? And we're back to trying to redeem this and I think it gets semi-redeemed, it gets a little bit better but not to the standard that I like, if that makes sense. And I thought, you know what would help this situation? Just add a cape. If in doubt, add a cape. It always helps. If your characters are looking a little bit weird, just add a cape and some rouge and you're good to go. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay Steph, that's great, you've done it now. Um, just move on to the next page, you're finished here. But that's where you'd be wrong, my friends, because we continue. And I draw a random face sticking out of this character. And she's much bigger than any other character, and I don't know why. But we did it, and we went with it. And we're using the Poscas again, because this paper hates Poscas. But I love Poscas, so I'm gonna use it. And you're thinking, yeah, you're gonna stop now. No, 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 my friends, you're very wrong. I continue and I add pink blobs everywhere because, because yes. And we keep going with adding detail here and there in the hopes that it somehow just create this most amazing image. I mean, I kind of like this little drawing here. It is, it's a sketchbook, so who really cares? But yeah, if you're trying to Start off a good sketchbook with a bang, I guess it's not the way to go. I don't know, I don't really care. I don't know, I don't really care. And this, we move on to the monstrosity. And I'm gonna do a slow-mo reveal of this guy. Wow! You're welcome, internet. So that's pretty much it. That's the first stage of my sketchbook. And you can see that it went downhill from there, from what I showed you. But from then on, I kind of did some watercolour tests and I got back into the rhythm of just watercolour sketches and some designs that I just wanted to play around with to see how the paper would handle water and I think it was quite fun. I did that negative painting technique 
and I was really just enjoying it and trying to forget about making something amazing and just trying to experiment a little bit more which I think really helps. Roasting your own artwork helps too. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. By the way my comic is up for sale on Etsy if you missed out on the Kickstarter then it's available over there if you fancy it the link is down below. Anyway thanks for watching guys I will see you next time. Thank you.